Grant and Sherman were really interesting figures in their in their own right, I think. Uh, just to look at them, let, let us say that Grant and Sherman walked into your room or my office or, or wherever, you know, what would it be like? Well, I think what it would be like with Sherman would start spotting people in the, in the audience and say, oh, there's old Charlie, how you doing? Slap him on the back, et cetera. Meanwhile, Grant would, would take a look at, at things or the, and find the corner where nobody was sitting so he could be by himself and nobody would bother him. And then you think of that, and, and yet they, they, they agreed on so many things. The, the other interesting thing I think about them is Grant is a small man. He's about five, six. In fact, we have a living statue, uh, or, or a statue, I should say, uh, at, our, at our Grant Presidential Library that shows life, life like what Grant was like when he went to West Point. He was about five foot one inch, and he weighed maybe 108 pounds, something, something like that. Uh, Sherman, on the other hand, and he, he grew while he was at West Point, of course, but he became five foot seven. But Sher uh, Sherman, in the meantime, is a tall fellow. He's about six foot, roughly six foot uh, uh, high, uh, tall. And so he, he represents just the opposite of what, uh, of what uh, Grant is. And yet they were they were such very close friends. They 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 really they really liked each other. And and I, I'm going to talk maybe talk about this later. But one of the main reasons I think is that Grant had a great deal of confidence in his own ability, believe it or not. Whereas Sherman Sherman was not so sure. And when the war started, he was convinced that the South was going to win. The North was certainly not going not going to win. And so until he met Grant and Grant told him and showed him how calm he could be and how well he could maneuver troops. So the result is, is that by the, by the early part of the war, the two people like each other and they, they, they like what each one represents. And that's that quote that you just uh, cited a while ago about how they, 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 they didn't worry about each other when they were apart because they knew the other one was thinking of them and the last part of the of the of the statement is and i knew you would come if still alive so i think i think the the, the very fact that the two people are so close and yet so different says something about the uh, about the civil war and and says something about what what these two people were were really like